Hey everybody, Mike from My Tech here. Here to talk to you about a new application. I wouldn't say actually new application, but a very helpful application for those of you who use like fake Facebook or any other community type website, um, or just to keep in touch with your friends. Um, I'm going to show you both PC and Mac, so you know both of them. Now, the the application on the PC is going to be known as Pigeon. So if you go to Google and just type in Pigeon, you'll notice that there's a tons of things that pop up for you. Now the Pigeon's gonna be a little bit harder to set up because you got to do um, a plug-in, and you can see actually the one of the first ones, third one down there is the F Pigeon Facebook, which is the Facebook plugin. And I'll go ahead and show you that um, in a second here. So first off, just type in Pigeon. The first thing that's gonna come up in your Google will be the Pigeon Universal Chat Client. Now if you click on Download, it should take you right to the spot where you can download it on their website. And then you just simply click on the download link. It's a super small application, super lightweight. So if you use AIM, Yahoo Messenger, um, any other MSN Messenger, ICQ, all these different chat type of clients, um, I would definitely recommend you consolidating that into one little thin, lightweight chat client because it's gonna make your life easier, your computer's life a whole lot easier and uh, be a lot faster for you. Um, now, you will lose some functionality uh, sometimes, like for example, uh, you won't be able to do some file sharing or video transferring. Um, now, they're working on getting that more and more compatible as people upgrade their softwares, such as MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, and AIM, which allow you to do these file sharings. Uh, most of the time it will work okay, uh, but if they change something, Pigeon will now have to catch up in order for it to, uh, to work again. So. Um, and they're always changing their APIs. So hopefully Pigeon does a really good job, keeps it up to date. The last time I checked, I was able to do a file sharing through AIM and Yahoo Messenger. I don't use MSN too much, so uh, just note that. So we're going to click on the direct link here for some reason. I didn't start it already. Now, if you notice, this is just a simply a test box. That's why Internet Explorer 6 is on it. Very, very basic box. So I apologize for it. Uh, I know I'm going to get some, some grief for that, but it is. All right. So that's shoot is down, done downloading. We're going to hit run. And we're going to go and install this. Now, this is actually a, a really basic tip for you. Anytime you install anything, try to always click on custom. You're always going to have the ability to customize your install. And if you don't, whoever compiled the program really needs to stop doing that and actually give you the ability to have a little more customization. So you see, we're going to click next, next. And as you notice, they actually go ahead and go through this entire thing, customization for you automatically. Um, they give you, they don't give you an option for customer or original. They just simply do it custom and select the stuff for you. And you click on next and install. And you'll notice you install what they call, I believe, GTK. And that's actually a separate uh, package there for you that, uh, as you can see, it's downloading the GTK zip right now that monitors all your, you know, it's it's their SDK for monitoring their um, spell checking, for monitoring their transcripting, for monitoring anything. So if you ever go to add it later on, uh, the GTK package will actually go ahead and say, hey, you know, this person's trying to write this word or this person's trying to send a file or this person is wanting to, to transcript from English to Spanish and an automatic transcript for you. So while this goes ahead and does its thing, I'm going to go and hop on over to Adium and I'm going to show you the Mac chat client that you're going to really enjoy. Um, it's all built in. There's no plugins you need. They constantly update it. Now, there are people out there that will create plugins for other social websites that may not be in ADM already. So there's a dating website out there, for, for example, called OkCupid. Okay there's uh, another one um, out there called, not dating site, but a social network called um, uh, Dragon or something like that. And um, there's another one out there called um, Flipster or something of that nature. Um, these are all extra things that people have created for the... Uh, ADM package because ADM is not included by default. However, ADM does include Facebook. They do include AIM, MSN, Yahoo, all the basics. So I'm going to show you here. Now I'm going to go ahead and block out the names on the right. So you, right now I'm looking at them, but you, when this video is produced, you will not be able to see them. I don't want my uh, friends to be uh, produced on the web. So, um, But as you can see, um, it organizes all your Facebook clients into one little section called Facebook. However, the Pigeon will not do that. It'll actually go ahead and break it out into whatever groups you have 
um, if you make groups in your Facebook. If you haven't made groups in your Facebook yet and you don't and you don't plan on to, then it'll definitely go ahead and just do nothing but one big group and it'll be called Facebook and Pigeon. However, no matter if you have groups or not in ADM, I think you actually have a, a, a choice to switch it back. I wish you, wish you had that choice in Pigeon. However, the, the Facebook plugin for Pigeon doesn't have that ability. Um, I really like it, just one list, but that's me. So as you see here, I have another thing, uh, BQE, which is part of my uh, old software company I used to work at. With, there's nothing but Yahoo Messenger people. There's a And there's a bunch of different ones in here that all the groups are from different uh, messaging programs. Uh, my The girls is from AIM. The guys is from AIM. Uh, Buddies is from Google and also AIM. So I'll put G Talk in here as well. So let me go and show you the, the support that they have uh, for the new accounts. So ADN, go to preferences, and you'll notice that we can. I have AIM, Yahoo Messenger, Facebook, and Gtalk all put on all, all in line currently. Now I'm going to leave my, my screen names up there. If you guys want to contact me, be feel free to do so. Um, however, note that if you try to add me on Facebook, I probably won't add you. No offense to you. I use it solely for uh, just a... Uh, private purposes so this is a uh, ADM and uh, like I said it, it'll support anything you want um, and if you notice uh, you have tons of options you can set your status for every single one of them just by clicking right here and typing a new status so it's a great uh, great application really simple download drag to your applications folder and then run it um, that's you know OSX for you so um, we're gonna go ahead and run pigeon real fast actually we will not we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that Facebook plugin. So if we come back over here, you're going to notice that uh, I go back to Google and type in Pigeon Facebook and we're going to see it right here. And if we click on it, it's going to be hosted on uh, Google code. Uh, the person that runs this uh, definitely states that, hey, this is no way associated with Google. Because a lot of people think that, hey, you know, Google and Facebook and, you know, Google buys everybody. So why not buy Facebook? So it's no way associated with Facebook, uh, Google. And uh, the these guys are completely put the code license as GNU, which basically is open public. Uh, as you can see, general public license. So um, basically all you got to do is on the right-hand side, you can click on this little one right here, Facebook that feature downloads. And actually, sorry, you can click on the main one, downloads. And you'll see that you have latest Windows EXE, um, Ubuntu, Debian Source. You just want that top one right there, Pigeon Facebook Chat. And this one's super small. It's only 502 kilobytes. So you can just hit Run. Run. As You don't want Facebook running because it won't install correctly. So we remember how we unchecked that at the very beginning, or at the very end of the install for Pigeon. So we'll click Next. I agree. And it automatically installs the uh, the plugin, and then it offers you to run Pigeon again afterwards. So you say finish. Now I think the the application on the compile is smart enough to check for that Pigeon EXE running. So if you, even if you do have it running, it's going to ask you if you want to close it. It'll exit Pigeon for you, and then it'll install it, and then you can relaunch Pigeon. You should have the ability. So Pigeon should be launching here shortly. I've only allocated 512 megabytes to this box, so it's going to run pretty slow. Um, right away it says, do you want to add an account? Yes, I do. And we'll just go ahead, and, because AIM supports uh, multiple logins, we'll go ahead and I think it's going to be that. I'm going to log in there. And we'll just go ahead and click on Add. And we'll go ahead and enable this. I guess the password was wrong, so we'll go ahead and try it again. Evidently, password's still wrong. There we go. Oh, no, password's still wrong. Wow. There you go. I wasn't wrong. I just didn't log in. Okay, cool. So there you go. As you can see, it breaks it into the different ones right here. Um, and again, I will block out the names, but it breaks in there. And if you want, if you click on Add, you'll notice that you'll have a bunch of different options here. Um, these are all the extras that are put in, and you notice that you do have the Facebook chat client. Um, and now you can log in using your Facebook account, and you can simply chat with your friends without actually being on Facebook and having that really clunky GUI that's in there. 
just because it's not really clunky, I should say. It's just really heavy uh, because of all the JavaScript and jQuery that's going on in the background and Ajax. So here's a simple gut way for you guys to communicate with your, your Facebook account. Again, it's known as Pigeon. It's very lightweight. Um, it, you should have, have no problems with it. It's a great application. I re highly recommend it. There's other ones out there such as Trillion and a couple other ones. Uh, my recommendation is Pigeon and for the Mac, Adium. And I uh, hope this video helps you out. If there's anything else we can do for you, just write us. Please comment and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.